Samba da minha terra deixa a gente morre Quando se canta todo mundo bobe Quando se canta todo mundo bobe Quem não gosta de samba, bom sujeito não é É ruim da cabeça ou doente do pé Eu nasci com o samba, no samba me criei E tu danado do samba Nunca me separei O samba da minha terra deixa a gente morre Quando se canta todo mundo bobe Quando se canta todo mundo bobe Quem não gosta de samba Bom sujeito não é é ruim da cabeça, o doente do pé Eu nasci com o samba, no samba me criei E do danado do samba, nunca me separei O samba da minha terra deixa a gente morrer Quando se canta todo mundo morre Quando se canta todo mundo morre I'm going to spend this time to talk a little bit about uh, something I know is not covered in almost like any popular YouTube military video thing anywhere. Property. Now, if you ask any of my NCOs or any of my Joes what my actual job is, it's A, make them miserable on Monday morning runs, and B, to sign for all the property for the platoon. This is my property book. Fairly thick set of documents. And inside there's even more crammed in there than you can see. It contains paperwork for every bit of property that I am legally and financially responsible for. Now in my videos, you probably see a lot of shots of us like putting a lot of stuff on the ground and neat little rows. And I'm always trying to do painting shots of them. And that's a layout. And a layout is exactly what it is. You take all the stuff that you're trying to get accountability for and you lay it out. Not very inspired, but the name gets to the point. Now, property is, generally speaking, anything that I'm responsible for that is not the soldier's individual kit. Short of like their weapons and their NVGs, that's everything else. So radios, binoculars, compasses, these little things that make it so that the rifle will cycle when you fire a blank through it. Even the Bradleys themselves, I am signed and legally responsible for. Not only like the Brad itself, but all of the hundreds of little items that are included that are issued with the Bradley and those all had to be accounted for specifically. Now a lot of it makes sense like like towing cables, fire extinguishers, wrenches, stuff that you know you'd want to haul it or to fix it or to prevent it from catching on fire. You know stuff on the surface makes sense but then I'm responsible for things like a, a putty knife or a six inch ruler, like a, a whole ax. And that's per Brad. So I have four axes that if they get lost, I, that's suddenly a problem I have to deal with. My least favorite thing uh, that I have to keep track of are those little L-shaped flashlights that are green and you see them in movies that are based in like Vietnam or like Desert Storm or something. The reason I hate them is because they represent something terrible because these flashlights are the worst flashlights on the face of the planet when they have batteries in them they don't last very long and they're super heavy they're bulky in a weird shape so that the only way that actually makes sense for you to use them would be for you to put it in your kit or carry it using your whole hand and not only that they're not bright at all the flashlight on my phone is 10 times brighter 
than this military grade flashlight. And literally the only thing we use them for is to hold little Allen wrenches so they don't get lost and they're all in one place. And it's terrible because if I lose them or break them uh, and I have to order another one, some company uh, is making complete just moolah by creating this like horrible product that doesn't stand up to anything on the market today and they're probably just charging a hilarious amount of money for it now what happens whenever i have to give out uh things for guys to use like compasses or binoculars or radio or something like that i then sign that down to them so then they are responsible for it until they give it back to me it's back in my possession safe locked away and then it's my issue again so like when we go land naving, I have 30 or 40 pieces of paper. I have 30 or 40 forms signed and dated by the soldier that I have to keep track of just so that I can get back my compasses that I am responsible for. In property getting lost or more likely mysteriously walking away on its own through no fault of anyone else's, never to be seen again is not that uncommon. And many officers who aren't experienced enough to deal with property or to manage it better often find themselves having to fill these little shortages that we call them. And this is where the beautiful role of a junior NCO comes in and they're just shadiness. Because it, oftentimes if a junior officer were to tell generally like an E5 or maybe like a senior specialist, hey, I'm missing an antenna or something, oftentimes they will go away and then come back five minutes later Well, you have no recollection of where they went. And they have somehow instantly acquired whatever it was that you were missing. I guess junior NCOs just have like this magical knack that I don't know how it works, nor do I want to know how it works. And it proves the old saying that there's only one thief in the army, everyone else is just trying to get their stuff back.